name is Laura George, and I'm the Executive Director of the Oracle Institute, which is a 501c3 educational charity located in Independence, Virginia. Today, we're going to show you the inside of the Peace Pentagon and its progress as of March 2014. With me are three great guys. This is Stephen Greif of Highland Builders. He's the general contractor for the project. This is Chris Miller of Harmony Timberworks. That company did our timbers and also installed them. And this is Russell Rigsby. He's an artist locally here, and he's also going to build our stained glass windows. The first thing you see when you enter the Peace Pentagon is the Great Hall. In designing the hall, we wanted to create a feeling of ascension and transformation because it leads to the heart of the Peace Pentagon, the sacred space. There will be staircases curving up and down to create a spiral effect. The up staircase will spiral to a platform which will lead to the balcony of the sacred space and then down to create a spiral effect. Chris was instrumental in capturing all of these concepts. Thank you, Laura. At Harmony Timberworks, we first like to meet with the client and discuss their ideas. I base the design of the Great Hall Timbers on Laura's concept of ascension and expansion. The timbers also mimic the hull of a ship, an upside down Noah's Ark. On my right is the gift shop where we will sell Oracle Press books. And on my left is the Oracle Internet Cafe where you can get a cup of coffee when you arrive, settle in before an Oracle class or other program. Right now, the windows and doors are being stored here in the coffee shop as well as across the hall in the gift shop. After we pass our first blower door test, which is required to obtain the Passive House certification, we will be ready to install the windows and doors. After that, we will conduct another blower door test to make sure the windows and door penetrations have not been compromised because the exterior shell of the building must be kept super tight. And this space is for a public library and an office. For the last 10 years, Oracle has been collecting books and we have a spectacular collection on philosophy, history, spirituality, and the holy texts of all the major religions. And this is our conference room. On this side there's also two more offices. This room will have video conferencing capability and it will allow us to plan peace building efforts with other organizations around the world. Before we go in the sacred space, let's take a quick look downstairs. This is our main classroom and dining hall and it mirrors the sacred geometry of the pentagonal chapel above. And we also pulled the timbers down to the ground so it looks like they're coming back up into the main sanctuary. And this is our commercial kitchen. There'll be a roll-up bar here where people can come, get a hot meal, and then re-enter the dining hall. Before we go back upstairs to the sacred space, let's take a look outside. It's hard to tell because the windows and doors aren't installed yet, but the Peace Pentagon plans call for a daylight basement with doors that open onto a patio overlooking the new river. The view is breathtaking. And the view of the river from the sanctuary is even better. So let's go upstairs and ask Russell to talk about the stained glass windows. The sanctuary employs the sacred geometry of the Pentagon. The exterior walls are 55 feet long, 5 times 11, and the interior walls of the chapel are 25 feet long, 5 times 5. Also, the point of the chapel is solar south. We chose solar south because magnetic south is slowly shifting. This is where we will offer multi-faith services and ceremonies. The Unitarian Universalist Community of Independence will be using this chapel when it's completed. UUCI is the first and only multi-faith congregation in our county. We've dedicated the sanctuary to the five primary religions, Hinduism, Judaism, Buddhism, Christianity, and Islam, because the Oracle Institute believes that the quickest path to peace is for the five primary religions to spiritually unify because there are many paths to God, and no one religion has all the answers. You got that right, sister. Let's talk about these beautiful stained glass windows we're going to put in here. The original uh, design was created by Laura and Oracle volunteer Donna Montgomery. They decided on a theme of non-duality, which ironically can only be expressed using duality, like the yin-yang symbols. I have taken this concept to the next level. So we have the sun and moon, day and night, white dove of peace 
and black crow of sacred law, light and dark, the all and nothingness. These are universal symbols for great mystery. The dove will go in the southeastern wall, while the crow will go in the southwestern wall. And the piece de resistance is the pentagonal skyline. And that was interesting to design. Yeah, you came out that day to watch us put the keystones in. I wouldn't have missed it. Our timber installers had never done a pentagon before. I've designed hexagons and octagons, but never a pentagon. It truly was an exciting project for us to do. We need to get some money coming in the door so we can build these beautiful stained glass windows for this shop. Yes, we do. Please help us get the Peace Pentagon fully under roof with the doors and the windows installed and then come and see us on the scenic New River where we can build the new world together based on truth, love,